They said they couldn't do it. In the wee hours of the morning of October 7th, a massive attack against Israel caught its soldiers defending the border surprised and outnumbered. Israel's female tank crews, who were stationed further south, headed to the Gaza border without thinking twice and immediately jumped into action. Debbie Munblatt reports. I was guarding when everything happened. I heard、um, the bombs dropping.、Um, I heard the news. I saw everything happening live on the news, and、um, I knew that something was. Starting it, in the first few moments, you do not really understand. You start to collect information, and you find yourself in a very weird situation. I was nervous, and I understood that we were going to move from my section to the neighboring one. So yeah, we we kind of drove through the the through the rockets, through the shootings and disturbing,、um, brutal attacks that Hamas、uh, um, came upon us,、uh, the civilians of Israel. But we knew that we had to carry on driving and get to base so that we can do what we need to do in order to protect our borders. An hour later, Captain Carney's tank company arrived at the battleground. I got to the border area and I grasped the situation when I saw 40 terrorists rushing in my direction and I heard the shooting toward the tank and I understood. That's it. I need to calm my fear. I'm in a war, a war for my life and a war for my fellow citizens. In an historic moment in the annals of Israeli military history, women fighters proved their immense worth in the battles of October 7th. They performed in a highly successful manner, and the eyes of many who were skeptical of women's role fighters were opened. Captain Carney saw that Hamas had cut a hole in the fence bigger than a tank, and that hundreds of terrorists in pickup trucks, motorcycles, and other vehicles were infiltrating and heading toward Israeli civilian towns. She decided to leave one tank guarding the fence, send another to join the fight for the Sufa military post, and her tank went to defend Kibbutz Cholit. From the moment that we jump into our tanks until we were done, it was around 17 hours. The women tankers killed dozens of terrorists, maybe hundreds. They stopped the flow of terrorists from reaching the towns behind their fighting line and saved the lives of many hundreds of civilians in those towns. These women made history as this marked the first war worldwide in which women tankers participated and underlined how important tanks remain in modern warfare.、It's Only women in the tank, obviously the four girls, who fight together,、um, and we do the same job as the men do. We do the same work and we fight the same. Nothing really is different just because we're women.、Uh, there are no question anymore. Women can be everywhere. That same day, female infantry fighters also faced off against the terrorists and successfully defended their country's borders. Lieutenant Colonel Or Ben Yehuda is the commanding officer of the Karkal Battalion. In、uh, October 7th, when we came out from our bases to help、uh, the other、uh, soldiers, no questioning about uh, uh, if uh, women can be、uh, fighters or、uh, they can be、uh, the tanks.、Uh, we just、uh, have done what we need to have done over over there and that day. In a triumphant maneuver. Ben Yehuda, together with her soldiers, also created a barrier that not even one terrorist managed to pass.、Uh, our mission is、uh, to stop and、uh, the attack to attack、uh, the terrorists and uh, uh, that they uh, won't uh, pass us. I was very fo- focused on my, on the mission uh, to defend uh, Israel, to defend uh, all the uh, civilians uh, nearby uh, Gaza. The large number of terrorists who crossed the border from Gaza to slaughter thousands of civilians in Israel did not imagine that female fighters were the ones who were going to stop them. One of them was at a distance、uh, like us right now, so、uh, I I'm sure that he saw、uh, my hair. I I'm sure that it was very surprised. Even、uh, in this、uh, little fight. I win. I win over there. So probably he will not get his 72、uh, virgins. That day, these bold women fighters, who for years have been told they couldn't keep up with male soldiers, succeeded in turning the tide. In those hours of combat, they proved the naysayers wrong.
My hope is that women have proven themselves in all the areas, not in the sense that their time has come, but rather that they excelled as only women can. I'm sure if this situation had happened before, they would have done the same thing. We, we've literally proved ourselves that we can do it, and I hope that in years by, my kids will also draft here, and my daughters will draft into tanks, and they'll do their best to protect, to protect me and the rest of us. Um, here in Israel so that we can carry on with our lives. I'm in love with this country. They fought side by side and solo. They changed the public perception of the army. This woman who commanded tanks and fought in the infantry defied the odds on that black day of October 7th. From southern Israel, this is Debbie Momblat reporting for the Media Line.